In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Rage Software's button design with Rapid Weaver. First, I'm going to export my buttons, so I'm going to choose CSS button. Then, I'm going to select the location to save my button to. And now I'll click the Save button. I'm done with button design, so I'll hide it for now. Next, I'll open up the folder that I saved my buttons to in the Finder. Now I'm going to open up the Style Sheet. The file path that points to the image has to be adjusted, so I'm going to type in assets with a forward slash, so RapidWeaver will know where to look when it's building my website. My next step is to highlight all of the code, and then copy it. Once I'm done with that, I can close the document, and I don't need to bother with saving it. Now I'm going to open up RapidWeaver and add my web page. Remember to add the HTML code page because we're going to be adding custom HTML. And then click on the Add button. Next, I'm going to click on the Inspector button, and then the third tab in, and then I'm going to click on the CSS tab, and now I'll paste in the custom CSS code that I just copied. The next thing I have to do is copy over the image file created with Rage Button Design. I'll locate that in the Finder, and then I'll switch back to Rapid Weaver and the Inspector window again. I'll click on the Assets tab, and then drag the image into the Assets list so it will now be available to Rapid Weaver. The last thing I have to do is open up my index.html file and find the HTML code to display the actual button. I'll highlight the code and then copy it. I'll switch back to Rapid Weaver and place it into the HTML field right here. And then if I press the Preview tab, I can see the button on my website. And that's how to integrate Rage Button Design with Rapid Weaver. For more tutorials, please visit www.apptorial.com.